guys, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my room. This is the much requested room tour. I feel like ever since I moved to the UK, literally everybody's just been commenting on all videos. When is the room tour coming out? So I thought, you know what, it's high time. I myself had been postponing this video for such a long time because sometimes I was waiting for the sun to come out fully. Sometimes I was waiting for my hair to be washed. And today, neither is the sun out completely. It's coming and going, which is the case on most days. And neither is my hair washed. But I was like, you know what, it's high time. I really want to film this video. My room was looking really nice when I woke up today morning so there we are we're filming the room tour in case you're wondering I have my phone in my hand because I'm recording the audio over here you can see most of the frame in the camera because it's kept at a distance so the audio is not going to be very clear in the camera so I'm recording it on my phone just to give you a little context before we get started with the room tour I have a studio room which means you have a bathroom and a kitchenette in the room itself um, so there are three options when you at least study in the UK and you're living in a student accommodation you have a private room which does not have a bathroom or a kitchen it inside you're basically sharing it then there's an ensuite wherein you have a private bedroom and a private bathroom but then you're sharing the kitchen and then there's a studio where you have your private bedroom your bathroom and your kitchen that's in the same place uh, so what I have is a studio I used to have an ensuite but that was really tiny so I asked them to upgrade and that had some function issues as well anyway long story short now I have a studio and I'm very very happy with that I did vacuum clean the room day before yesterday so it is looking really neat and spick and span so without further ado let's get started so this is how the room looks as soon as you enter it. This is the door from where you enter. I did place this mirror over here. So I ordered this on Amazon and then the size was really small. And instead of returning it, I thought, you know what, I'll just use it over here. So as soon as you enter, I have these uh, posters right over here. I got these from Camden Market. I went with my Marcy. And I really like this book poster going on and the YouTube poster going on. I feel like it just says a lot about things I love doing. Right over here is the digital thermostat and some hooks on which I've kept all of my bags. Then right over here, I have all of my family and friends. Um, so I have mom's photos. I have all of my friends over here. So whenever I feel like I'm missing home, I just come to this wall and then I see everybody and I just feel a lot closer to home. I also have all of my um, shoes, not all of them, but just the ones that I wear on an everyday basis. I've kept them right here. I usually try to like just take off my shoes every time I get in the room so that the room does not really get dirty. And then moving on, this is the kitchenette. So we're first going to talk about this. Okay, so this is the kitchenette. Um, you might be able to hear the exhaust. I'm just going to turn that off. It's a very nice and very practical kitchen that I feel like it's one of the most well designed, not most I guess, but one of the good looking and the very functional kitchenettes that you can find nowadays. Um, so basically all of this stuff you have to get on your own, but they do give you like, they basically give you this unit, okay? And then they give you these cupboards. So in here I've kept all of like my chai kasaman and black pepper, soy sauce, all of my teas like a lot of herbal teas. I'll show you when we come to this part. Um, Adhrak Wali Chai, some tissues, extra dabbas, Tupperware. Nani could not have let me come here without giving me Tupperware, so that's that. And then right over here, I have cutlery, so I have bowls, I have chutti katoris, I have my glasses, I have um, plates, smaller plate and these again are borrowed from my Marcy. Marcy stays in London which is the best thing that could have happened because um, I would have been so lost without her to be very frank. So Mita Marcy if you're watching this thank you so much. This is the oven. I really like this oven because this room does not have a microwave. Okay I do need to tell you this room is a disabled friendly room so um, a lot of things are made in such a way that they're for the specially abled um, and because they didn't have like a regular studio available in the building when I wanted to upgrade um, I selected this. The good thing is though it's huge it's spacious and um th this room was empty so there was nobody who was there at the moment who ha who wanted to take it or who required it so that's why i ended up getting it now this is the oven the room does not have a microwave as i said so everything goes in here when i have to heat it in one month i feel like i've become a master of my oven and i really like it I, I use this all the time then right above the oven i have all of my and it's not kept in the best way but just to show you i have all of my um honestly you can see chips cereal coke it's like that place in your kitchen where you just store everything that has no other place to go. Nuts, chips, boondi, my tea that has not been opened yet. 
we can ignore that aloo bhajia and a lot of like ready to eat um, home cooked dehydrated food packets that my nani gave this you guys is my very beloved fridge i like to keep it stocked at all time i got some greek yogurt um i have some strawberry yogurt jam ice cream has to sorry go up here salad leaves roti um hummus I got this lemonade the other day and I have to tell you how delicious this is. It's the best lemonade I've had in my life. Anyway, that's my fridge. I ordered a lot of groceries yesterday that is why it looks a little stocked up. Usually I'm all over the place with food things and I'm ordering in sometimes. I do like to make salads and sandwiches so that's why the green leaves. That's the sink, that's the induction. This is the place where I dry my utensils. I showed you all of that already. This is one of my favorite things of all time. I really wanted to give this room more of like a hotel feel, easy and a little more like luxurious. So I really wanted to have like a tea box. I've always wanted to have a tea box for some weird reason. And then these are uh, lozenges, basically with this. One thing I love about cooking in this kitchenette, and honestly, I enjoy cooking. I never realize this about myself. And I know this video is going to be super long because I'm having a lot of chit chat, but I'll leave timestamps down below so you can have a look at that. Um, I'm still not like a pro. I can just barely manage, but I just find it very therapeutic. This. You know, you just stand in peace and because the place is so neat and tidy. And the best part about cooking here is the view, of course, because every time you're cooking, there are trains going by, you can see everything, you can see people walking through. Um, and it's just, it's the best feeling in the world. A place with so much hustle bustle going on, it's just one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I usually keep the window open when I'm cooking, but if I open it right now, there's a train going through. You guys can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a train just passing by. Um, and so it does make a lot of noise, so I usually keep it closed. But once I'm done with cooking, I open the window and I turn the exhaust off which they've given right here and then everything is just nice and airy and more breathable and there's no smell of food in the room. Um, so this is how the window is and it's noisy so we will just close it. Now moving on. Guys this is the kind of morning light that comes into the room. Um, it's around 9.45 and it is beautiful. Two things that I really wanted to show you first of all is this. So I order all my groceries from Gorillas. Gorillas is this app which basically delivers groceries and like ready to eat meals and drinks in under 10 minutes. And then I have this floor pillow. I ordered this from Amazon. I thought the size is going to be bigger. When it came out, it was really tiny. I like it and it goes with like the theme of the room, gives it a more homely vibe. So Serena, my friend who lives upstairs, she said she's going to be using the pillow and this is going to be Serena's corner. So well. There we have it. Alright, moving on to another of my favorite parts of the room and a part where I literally spend most of my time is sitting on this chair and working on this table. Most of my classes are offline but there are still a few that are online keeping COVID in mind. This is also where I edit. Anyway, on the table, one thing that I really like is of course my very pretty lamp. This is the thing that I feel brings the room together. I literally wanted pinks and whites and beige and you know things like that in my room just to make it feel more lively because what they give is just black and white and grey and you have to add your own colours to make it look lively. I spent so much time going through different accommodations when I wanted to upgrade to a studio and I wasn't sure if they'll have it in the same building but eventually I feel like Urbanest just does it right and they just know what to do and how to do it and you see how everything is placed and you see the room size it's huge and when I show you the bathroom you'll be you'll be mind blown because for London standards the bathroom I have is massive. So basically the point is you have to add your own colours, you have to add your own thing to the room which is why I got this very very pretty lamp from Argus. It's got this blush pink and rose gold and gold colour going on so I love the accents. Every time I touch it I can basically switch it on or off. Then I got this very pretty like a coaster. Um, this is from Shein and it's got again this um, rose gold and gold accent going on which I really like. I kept my little um, table clock on top of it so I can always see the time. I got this one from Amazon. These are flowers. These are of course artificial flowers that I got from Amazon. Um, and then this is mom's photo. Um, as always, you know, mom is always with me. This is the first thing I see in the morning and I'm just so happy and I, I just know she's with me. Um, this is something my mom gave me long back. It says my daughter, my hero. It was a gift from mom. Just like a random thing she got me. And then I have my King's College London cup. I really would have been using this for like tea or something but I just end up using this for like my stationery. Then I have my good old trusted MAC Velvet Terry that I got on student discount and I'm very proud of this because I got a 30% off. I have a band, I have a few other trinkets kept here all the time. Then I have my laptop kept right over here. Then of course we have a dustbin right over here. Um, this is my India to UK like um, cable and adapter and all of that. So um, 
That is from Amazon, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's very, very handy. Moving on to this part of the room. This is the bed. I love my duvet cover. I love my pillows. I have put in so much thought and time and just effort behind these pillows and this duvet cover. The rug has this very geometric ethnic design going on, which kind of reminds me of home because we had obviously like a more elaborate rug back home. This one is of course going with the theme of the room and I just like the colors, I like how it's still reminding me of home yet it's something very modern because of the color scheme. Then we have two under bed drawers, um, basically I have all of my clothes in this drawer right over here and then I have all of my like extra storage stuff kept right over here. So you know all the things that in an ideal like in a typical house you would think would be in the storeroom or would be in like one cupboard, storage cupboard are kept over here. I got these two pillows from Amazon. I love the pom-pom detailing over here. Then I got these ones from Argus and then I have these two from Zara Home. Now the thing is, um, I wouldn't say I've done my room up a lot because I know people who literally go all out with their studios. Um, I would say I'm sort of in the middle but I've done it up and I've made sure that I'm living um, comfortably. There's a big window right in front of the bed um, which has a very beautiful sunset view and a sunrise view and I, I can just I can keep talking about the sunrise view because if you're following me on Instagram you already know what a beautiful view that is I love it but basically this room has this energy that just puts me in the right state of mind every single morning and then I have a throw blanket kept right over here that is from um, Marks and Spencer. This is the view from the bed. Right now it looks good but when I wake up guys it looks so beautiful. Guys every morning I wake up and this is the view. It's even better sometimes it's all orange and pink but this is just beautiful. I wake up to this and then it's on the other side. I am still figuring this part of the room out so excuse me if this is not the most ideal way of organizing this. So right over here I have a few of my cosmetics things that I use literally every single day. Right over here I have my medicine box and then this is my cup syrup which I have been having a lot of because my throat is always always something or the other is wrong because it's so cold over here. Moving on to this section I have my mom's book over here. I have all of my trinkets. This book by the way if you want to get you can get it from Amazon. I will leave a link down below in the description box. It's all about workplace productivity and how you can increase your productivity in general. Then I have this read diffuser. This one is one of my favorite read diffusers is lavender and the room just smells so fresh instantly. This right here is a spare phone that I got from India and then these are my makeup brushes, my eyelash curler and some extra rubber bands. This is my gadget box, this is my power bank, airpods, a letter from my friend. These are what I use as my table mats. Indian khane me usually gravies are the out there so I make sure I use these. This is my ready to go like kit so when I'm staying at my Masi's place or when I'm traveling somewhere I carry this. Sunglasses. One, it's very sunny. Two makes for good photos. These are two storage units that I got from Amazon again. They're not in the best shape right now because I literally use these every day. But this has all of my makeup and this has all of my PR stuff and my Dyson. This is a very cute box which is actually supposed to be a cake box but I use it for all of my trinkets. <sighs> okay, I know that was a lot but when you're living alone you need to have all of these things. In India, I didn't have half of this stuff because like medicines, I didn't keep in my room because we used to have like a common place for medicines. But here obviously you need to keep everything for yourself now moving on to this section you might be wondering what this is even if you're not wondering i will tell you what that is so these are two cupboards that basically open up like this so i've kept all of my bags sweaters this is how this cupboard opens up i've kept my shoes underneath i have all of my coats pants jackets fluffy jackets and then i have all of my mufflers kept right over here and then right over here is the washroom now this washroom is as i said for london standards it's huge Okay, now this is the bathroom. This is where I've kept all of my cosmetics, my skincare stuff, and my laundry basket. Um, as I said, this is a room that was made keeping in mind the specially able. So there are a few things that are different from a regular bathroom. Um, but overall, it's a huge space and I really, really like it. This is some cutlery. This is a diary that my Masi gave to me. Oh, the train's going. Anyways, this is a diary that my Masi gave to me for all recipes. This is again for all of my accessories, um, cables. This has some tape, uh, surface cleaner, eyeglass cleaner, some chewing gum. 
Kala Chabi for all of my suitcases. This is the key that has mom and my photo in it. This is the last one. This has all of my extra stationery, some rubber bands, ribbon, punch machine that I have no idea why I carried. This is a game that came as a part of the welcome kit and some more letters. This is my bag that I carry every time to college. This is a cabin bag that I carried when I was coming here. And then this is another laptop bag. To be frank with you, I love the nighttime because I have the yellow light on and then the room just looks so nice and so dreamy. And when you look outside, there are trains going by and I'm going to show you how the train looks. It's beautiful. And that's about it. That is my room. I know that this video was long, but that's the thing. When you're living alone, there's so much to keep. I still haven't gone very much in depth about what's kept in the cupboards, um, in the kitchenette. That is maybe for some other time. If you want a full kitchen tour, I'd love to do that. But uh, I feel like I'm turning into an auntie <laughs> slowly and gradually. But it's just fun, you know, living on your own is one of the best things that you can do just to grow and just to learn so much. Because I feel like in just two months of being here, the sort of independence that I have right now and the sort of things that I'm doing, I would never be able to do that living back at home. So many people don't get the chance. So if you do have that, take this opportunity and do it. Um, anyway, that was the room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below, letting me know what other videos do you want to watch. I know I'm still sort of developing this room, but the thing is it's a one year course. And after that, I don't know if I'm going to be here, if I'm going to be back home. I know at the moment as well, I have like a lot of stuff that I don't know what I'll do with once I'm leaving. But um, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. At the moment, that's about it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of these vlog videos. I make a lot of haul videos. I'll be doing a lot of London vlogs as well. So I'd love for you to join our family over here. One last thing before I leave, I do go live on Instagram very often. My profile is right here on the screen. So make sure you come have a look at my Instagram as well. Um, we hit 100K very recently and I'm so, so happy. I would love for you to join and be a part of our family on Instagram. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys next time. Till then, bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>